What's up guys, the man Photos and we are back again with another review. This one is a hardware review and this is the Aegis Max Kit from Geekvape. This was sent over directly for the purpose of this review. <coughs> Not going to go into the unboxing with this one because it was sent in a uh, pre-production reviewers pack which is just basically a black box. So what will you get? You'll get the mod itself. It'll come with a USB wire. I recommend that for updates only and not charging. Always use a proper charger when you are charging your batteries. Also comes with the Zeus stock coil tank, which we will go into a bit later. So yeah, I'm a Geekvape fanboy. Uh, love the Aegis range. I've got loads of them and they are just complete workhorses. Absolutely love them. This one is a 21700, but does come with an 18650 adapter. Kicks out at the max of 100 watts. It has curve mode, bypass, and TC. So we'll get into some specs of it. So dimension-wise, you are looking uh, 93, 46, 34 millimeters, 5 to 100 watts. Uh, output voltage of 3.2 to 4.2. Uh, maximum voltage of 3.3. Resistance range uh, 5 up until 3. Uh, as I said, micro USB for charging does take 18650 and 21700s. Temp control, it goes from 100 to I think it's 215, possibly. TPD tank, unless you have the bubble glass, comes with a 0.2 and a 0.4 ohm. With the bubble glass, it will come up at 5 mil. Top fill. Top airflow, well, top airflow is debatable, we'll go into that at the very end. Battery compartment has a threaded cap, so screw off, screw on. Uh, the only thing I will say with those and any of these mods, do not over tighten because you can damage the top of your battery. Uh, one thing I would say regarding this is, how can I put this right? This clip, what you see here, this one right by my little finger that is is quite restricted to open as you can see so let's drop that out pull the battery out as you can see it's clearly marked up with your positive and negative but you don't want to push push the battery too far because as you can see not on mine but it will actually destroy the top of your battery so yeah be very careful what i tend to do drop the battery in bottom up just until you get a slight bit of tension then back off a tiny bit close that and there you go that will work the chipset uh if you have used geek vape ages stuff before you will know the chipset the chip set it is the same across the board for all the devices should it change uh don't fix something what don't need mending in my opinion uh, it's a good chipset it works well it's easy to use they've stuck to it so it's obviously doing good for them uh, and i believe it's it is what it is it's a good chipset uh yes yeah, so pros and cons of this one uh pros the fact that it is uh waterproof dust proof and impact resistant up to IP67. Now the IP rating is an impact resistance rating, impact protection rating, sorry. So yeah, ideal because it's nice and small, fits in your hand. And it's also a very, very nice looking mod. I do like the look of this one. Cons, the only one I can really find is that battery door. Uh, that could be doing with loosening just a tiny, tiny bit. As for the tank, well, as you all know, I'm very much not a stock tank kind of person. I always use RDAs, RTAs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so these are mesh coils. Uh, I can't give you a good guide on how much juice they will put through or how long they will last as I'm still running the first coil. And I've had this kit in now for two and a half weeks, uh, nearly three weeks, actually. So, yeah, decent coils. Uh, flavor the flavor is very very good i'm not going to deny the flavor is very good but it is quite an airy vape when it's wide open let me just put that wide open you can probably hear that from there so we'll knock that halfway up i have been vaping it halfway as i do like a very very restrictive vape so uh yeah 
the coils are decent. I, it's hard for me to judge stock coil because literally what I do is I, I use the coil, all the coils that come with it, and then if I like it, it'll go on the shelf and I'll buy more coils. If not, it'll go in a box and give it to someone who can use it more than me. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's not a bad stock coil tank. It, it really isn't. But again, I'm into my RDAs, so you know there's a difference in comparisons. Overall, would I buy one? Yes, I would. Uh, for the simple reason is these are absolute workhorses. They are brilliant mods. So as I said, I've got the whole range, and they've all worked very well. What I have been doing with this as well, because I gave the tank a good test over over two weeks, and um, up until well the past two three days. I've had the Pandora MTL on top of this and it has been a workhorse. I mean the battery life because I'm only blasting 10 watts has been amazing uh, and it's it's the ideal size for a little MTL, it really is. So yeah, a great, great little device. Uh, overall, it's it's good, it, it is, it's Geek Fape, it's the Aegis line, it's going to be good, they, they always are. Uh, you know they're designed to be workhorses now people have done the tests where they chuck them in water drop them under the car all that type of stuff i'm not going to do it because i've done it with the others and they held out so i'd assume this will because it, it is the same uh ip rating so i'm not going to say that this is going to get destroyed don't go purposely destroying it because it's not safe to do so i mean they do say that these will withstand so much but again don't push your limits because there is a battery in there and you don't want to wreck your mod. But as day-to-day -day workhorse mods, these are absolutely brilliant. Uh, the tank itself, would I buy it? No, because I don't buy stock core tanks. I've, I've got no use for them. I've got no need for them. But it is performing very, very well. Uh, I have got to still try the other core once this one goes. And if it needs updating because the core turns out to be crap, then I'll update Yeah, If not, then it's all good. Uh, yeah, straight away, drop the 5mm bubble glass on there. It had to be done. So yeah, uh, overall a great, great device. Well done again to Geek Vape. And that's what I said, the only con I can literally find is that bottom bit there. That It just needs to be a tiny bit looser. But again, it might loosen up over time. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much Geek Vape for sending that across to me for, to review. Uh, there will be a couple of photos over on Instagram to go with it too. And as always, we will do the channel sponsors because it's only fair to as these guys support me whether I've used their stuff today or not. So this is Corbett Cotton. This is a Stella, three in the line. There is Stella, Presidential and Private Reserve. They are an amazing cotton brand. Uh, the only cotton I use now. And that isn't just because I'm sponsored by them. It's because it is, trust me, go and buy it and you'll realise yourself. You can get that over at vibervape.com. Use TVMP15 for 15% off. He will also allow you to use that across sale items on the site as well. So if something is already 15% off, whack in TVMP15, you will get an extra 15% off as well. Uh, more to come from Vibervape very soon, so keep your eyes out on the channel for that. Something big coming up right there. And also, calls by Scott. These are some of his fused, but uh, yeah. Only coils I actually use, handmade, really, really high quality, really, really good coils. I use them in all my mech stuff and everything you see on the channel which needs a coil, that is what will be dropped in them. Again, use TVMP15 over there. He also does uh, the odd little bit of hardware. So make sure you go and check him out. Both really good lads, both channel sponsors. Big thank you to them both. Other than that, thanks for joining me. You can find me on social media. I'm on uh, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Got any questions drop them down below if not come across social media come and find me and i'll try and answer them over there if i can thank you for joining me please hit like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one